everyone welcome to yourpedia and this is shubha so let's solve one more very interesting exercise that is exercise number 78 of manhattan right now see this is very short and very simple one though it carries lots of understanding and there is a target word that is even if so you can use it out like what is a target word it is even if now let me explain it to you first the remark was intended as something of a dash now there is some kind of a remark there is some kind of a statement that is intended that meant something of dash we don't know what it meant even if it sounded anodyne on the surface anodyne means something that is uh, it works as a painkiller right something you can call it as very soothing something you can call it as a positive word right so the remark was intended something of a maybe it intended something of a negative though it sounded very positive right so it is some kind of a statement where they are meant that even if it was sounding positive the meaning was or you can say the words were very you can say cruel or harsh so such as a word and you have to find something that causing pain because here it is like it is acting as a painkiller here it will be something of a something that causing pain that causes you a pain right so now you have got six options in it clear so what it means is like remark we have to choose some kind of you can say negative word now compliment is a positive word that means you are praising someone up so that is a kind of a public appraisal or you can say praise fine next you have a slight slight is something that is very minute small in degree tiny light okay so something that is you can say small in degree gibe g i b e that means something that is you are uttering taunting words or you are insulting someone so taunting insulting that is termed as this next you have is your profundity the profound that is a positive word that means something that has a great knowledge something that is great uh, great in depth knowledge great intelligence that can be called as this next is your panegyric panegyric means that is a public speech you are praising someone so that is termed as panegyric so it is public praise or you can say praising someone out in public and maxim this is some kind of you can say general truth or some kind of a universal truth that can be called as panegyric right so you have got different these options in front of you and now you have to choose wisely that what is the option that fits it now the remark was intended it meant something negative though the words were very positive so negative first eliminate the positive one this is positive eliminated great intelligence not needed and eliminated public praise this this we are only left with two options that is slight and guy right so this is jib and slight so that is the way you just do a very short one the sentence equivalence ones let's learn the words or explanation given to us slight and guy the words even if even if signal a change in the meaning of the sentence like even if it was very harsh words it sounded very soothing like a irony like a sarcasm right so so you need to uh, need a word for the blank that is opposite of anodyne which can mean alleviating pain that is relieving pain but here means not likely to provoke offense so compliment and panegyric both have positive connotation so they can't work here only slide and jibe have the required negativity right so what are the words you have slide and jibe because two are the options which you have got a little bit of negativity which reflects that a negative meaning is there so as i told you go for the positive meanings and negative meanings you simply find it out like all were positive we needed a negative answer and two were the only negative we chose a pair and we made it an answer So jibe is something that is you can call it as insulting comment. Slight is something that is very small, minimal in degree. I knew Vera was not my friend when she made a jibe about my weight. So she made a fun, she made a taunt, she made she insulted me on my weight. Next is our profundity. That is, I told you words that express deep reflection or insight, or something that you have intense knowledge, you have a diversified knowledge, quite knowledgeable. That is termed as profundity. Panegyric is a speech or written composition used to pay tribute to a person, place, or thing. 
After the princess died, a popular singer wrote a pandaric to honor her life. So it's a kind of a public appraisal, a tribute to someone, a positive hope. So that was all. See, a very short sentence equivalence and very easily you can crack it out just by understanding that where you need positive words, where you need negative words and even if changes the situation. Even if this thing happens, that was the need. So you need to understand there will be positive and negative and the change will be there. Okay, so let's practice more and more very soon. We will cover all the exercises. All the best. Keep preparing with me and we'll meet soon. Take care.